Good morning, Monarchs. So this will be our last lesson of the week. We'll be doing some very hungry caterpillar yoga. We'll be acting out a short version of the story with some yoga moves. Um, so I hope you'll join me. Okay, so here we go. In the light of the full moon, so let's stand up. Let's put our feet apart. Okay, on our yoga mat if you have one or just about hip width apart and put your arms up like this. It's a star pose. So in the light of the full moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. So now you're going to lay down in child's pose like this. We're gonna be doing this pose a lot. And the other end of the egg. The little egg, okay, so you're still in child's pose, rolls over on its side. beginning to grow. So put your arms up where your head is growing and it's a stormy evening and the wind blows the egg around on the leaf. Stretch from side to side and back into camera pose. It begins to rain on the egg. Pitter patter, pitter patter, all over your face and your body. Pitter patter, pitter patter. What will happen after the rain? Let's find out. Then, one Sunday morning, the warm sun comes up. And it warms the earth. Touching your toes. And the egg goes pop. Out wiggles a very tiny, so now we're in our serpent pose, but we're caterpillars, a very tiny and very hungry caterpillar. I'm so hungry, said the little caterpillar. I would love something to eat, he said as he looked from side to side. Along came a very happy dog. Let's do our best dog pose. Okay, we'd like you to pop up your tail and wag your tail. Here comes the dog. See that hungry caterpillar. And what will he bring? That's right, he brings the caterpillar one apple. And the hungry caterpillar sits down and says, Namaste. After so to eat the apple, what we're going to do to act that out is we're going to stretch our legs out. Okay, so your legs are stretched out like this, and you're touching your toes and you're going, mm, yum. Okay, so we ate our apple. But what do you think? Do you think? That the hungry caterpillar is so hungry. Yes, he says, mmm, that was tasty. But he goes back onto his leaf and says, I'm still hungry. And then it gets to be nighttime and he goes back into a little curled up pose, child's pose, and goes back to sleep. But the next morning, he was still hungry. The sun came up, pop, and warmed the earth. Touch your toes. And the hungry caterpillar, and the caterpillar pose again, looks around and says, I am so hungry, I would love something to eat. Along came a horse. So this is going to be our next pose that we're doing, the horse pose. Okay, so you're going to put your arms up over your head, we're kneeling. Put one leg out in front with your foot touching your mat, your other knee behind you, and the horse says, Nay! What will the horse bring? We need two of something. That's right, the horse brings the hungry caterpillar two pears to eat. Mmm, says the hungry caterpillar. And he goes into butterfly pose. 
Hence, remember, butterfly pose crisscross applesauce, but instead of crisscross, your feet are touching, okay? And you're fluttering your wings, okay? And you're eating, eating up your delicious pears here. And he says, mmm, he pats his head and rubs his tummy. That was delicious. But he curls back onto his knee and looks around and he says, I am still hungry. Doesn't know quite what to do, so he goes back to sleep. And the next morning, the sun comes up. Pop! And warms the earth. And the very hungry caterpillar looks around and says, I would love something to eat. And along comes a camel. Now, sorry, that's my real dog in the background. But here, along comes a camel. We're going to do the camel pose. So, to do this, we are going to kneel. Okay? And you're going to look back, look at the ceiling, and reach your arms back, touching the back of your leg. Okay? Along comes the camel. And what will the camel bring? Oh, sorry. We missed one, so we turned the page. So, but not on the camel. First comes the cat. So cat pose, we are going to get into on our hands and knees like a table. And then arch your back up and go, meow. And what is the cat bringing? Yes, the cat is bringing three plums. Three plums here. And the hungry caterpillar sits down and says, Namaste. And he pats his head and rubs his tummy. Mmm, that was tasty, the caterpillar says. But I am still hungry. So he falls asleep again at the end of the day. And on Thursday, he wakes up, the sun goes pop, warms up the earth. And the caterpillar looks around and says, I would really like something tasty to eat. Well, here comes the camel. And the camel is going to bring the hungry caterpillar four strawberries. That's right, four strawberries to eat. The caterpillar is a little rude. Um, not the caterpillar, but the camel. Camel, as the camel's stretching and bringing the strawberries, goes and blows some raspberries. Excuse me, camel. Well, the hungry caterpillar is still polite and says, Namaste. And then he gets into a turtle pose. So we're going to get up, okay? Point your toes, squat down, stick your hands out in front of you, put them under your legs and down on your mat. You're in the turtle pose and you go, mm, That's delicious. It really is. And he sits down. And he pats his head and he rubs his tummy and says, that was tasty, but I'm still hungry. But it's time to go to sleep again. He goes to sleep until the next morning when the sun comes up, pop, and warms the earth. And the little caterpillar climbs out onto the edge of his leaf and looks around. I would really like something good to eat. Let's see. So, he's also on the edge of a twig now, and he's moaning, okay? So we're gonna get into a twist pose. So you're going to lay down, okay? Your knees are up, and put them down on the ground, okay? And we're gonna lay back and just stretch. And you're on a twig. Oh, I'm just so hungry. I'm so hungry. Someone needs to bring me some more food. And along comes a lion. Okay, lion pose. So you're kneeling, you're putting up your mane. And along comes the lion. What will the lion bring? The lion is 
going to bring us five oranges. And the hungry caterpillar eats them up. Tapping his head, patting his head, rubbing his tummy and saying, mmm, that was delicious. And then he goes to sleep. <laughs> 